beauties, welcome back to his channel. It's me, Juna again. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. In my unboxing video of this mini fridge, I've already given my first impression of this skincare fridge. And so today, I'll be showing you what's inside my skincare fridge, as well as my experience using this one approximately a month now. So this is my skincare fridge and the stuff that I have in here. So I hope you can see it clearly and I'll be showing you what is inside. So let's start with this one. This is my favorite toner. I've got this one from the Philippines and also you can buy this one online. If you are from Australia or a different country, you can buy this one from Amazon and eBay. This one is Thayer's Facial Toner. And this is one of my favorite toner. Next, we have this one. And this is my favorite facial spray. This is the Badesco or Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. In my case, I bought this one at Mecca Maxima. I'm not sure if where else can you get this one, but I guess you would be able to get this one from online also. For me, this is the best facial spray. So I've got another toner that I store in here, but I am not using this yet. So this is Glow Toner or Glow Tonic from Pixi. So this is an exfoliating toner. Next, I have here Snail Repair Intensive Gold Eye Gel Patch. This is given to me by my friend Anne, which she bought from YesStyle. I am actually really excited to use this one. I just recently put this one in my skincare fridge because I want to use it. You can buy this one from YesStyle. Another stuff I have here, I've got some Olay cream or moisturizer. So I've got Olay Luminous Weep and Olay Regenerous Weep. I bought this one when it was on clearance from the chemist warehouse. I use this Luminous Weep in the morning and I use this Olay Regenerist Weep at night. They're actually almost finished. So I am already thinking of buying new one, but the bigger one already. And then I have this CEO Hydration Cream. So this is actually from the set Pony Syndrome cosmetic set that I bought online. I think it is from Revolution online that revolution.com something. I forgot the online shop already, but these two are some of the items that I got from that set. Another stuff. I have these eye massager. I bought this one from YesStyle and also you can purchase same stuff from Amazon and eBay if I'm not mistaken. I am excited to use this one because it's really cold and once you use like cold products or chilled products it is really relaxing and it can reduce the puffiness of your face that's why if you don't have like this you can also put like a teaspoon or spoon in your skincare fridge or in your regular fridge and you can use that one in the morning to reduce the puffiness of your eyes and then i have this this is also one of my favorite face masks i bought this one from yesl this is saborino face mask white strawberry at YSL, there are a lot of different face masks and I find it very cheap because it has 28 masks and it costs like around 30 bucks which I could say I only paid around a dollar for each mask. So this is cheaper compared to the other face masks because they cost like around 3 to 5 bucks and above each mask. The last few items that I have here. So I have this Quick Fix Eye Lift Cream. Because you know sometimes you can't deny that you feel uncomfortable of the dark circle on your eye. So I wanted to sort of help reduce the darkness using this one. I bought this one from the Philippines at Watson's. I am not so sure where you can buy if you are in a different country or if you are abroad. And then these few items or these are the last items actually. These are free items, sample items from Yesal and from Sephora. 
These two are from Sephora, the Truth Serum and the Moisturizer. As you can see, this one, it's already open because I already use it. And then these few items. So I only put this one in here so that when I'm ready to use this one or to test them, then they're ready to be used. So that's everything inside my skincare fridge. I'm not so sure if you can see it very well. You can see some water inside. So this is one of the issues I have using this skincare fridge because it produces a lot of water and from time to time or sometimes it leaks from the bottom of the fridge which is for me not a big deal though but if you have some stuff beside your skincare fridge make sure that you check your skincare fridge from time to time because it might ruin your other products so in my case what i do is that i put a towel at the bottom of my skincare fridge or a paper towel so that if it has leakage then it will be absorbed by the towel so just check it from time to time if you have same problem with me so i'm not sure if you have heard from the others they've been complaining about the sound of the fridge because it was too loud and it is like annoying for them in my case i am not really bothered with that one because i put my skincare fridge in my vanity which is in a separate room so in that case i won't really hear the sound of the fridge but i can hear it when i do my makeup because it's like in my vanity and where i do my makeup but for me it's not an issue actually so if you don't like that sound then put your mini fridge away from where you sleep or away from where you work so that it won't give you a problem with the sound but i'm telling you the sound is just so low that sometimes when you're doing some stuff you won't even hear it or if you're busy you won't even like notice that it has sound so that's everything that i have inside my fridge and also my experience using this one so from time to time also i change the stuff that i put in my skincare fridge just for example some other days i put my favorite serum which is the body shop drops of youth this is actually lovely i bought this one from the body shop so you should try this one if you're looking for a good serum then you should try this drops of youth and then i also have this becca skin love so this is also good for the skin it smells good and after you use this one your skin will be shiny and so soft so I also put different face masks aside from the Saburino because for example if I'm planning to use like the face mask tomorrow then I'll be putting it in the skincare fridge like the night before. So for example I have this TWO TSP face mask. This is also one of the best face masks that I've tried. Your skin will be so soft after and it smells so good. So this one is one of the face masks that you should try this one is a bit expensive though compared to the Saburino you can buy this one at Yes Style and any Korean, how can I say, Korean online shop also in Amazon so another stuff, I have this Dr. Lewins I have face mask, lip mask and eye patch these three are from the chemist warehouse so I usually buy my skincare products or the usual skincare products that I use from the chemist warehouse or from Priceline because they have lower price compared to the other shop, most especially the chemist warehouse. They're always sort of like on clearance, on sale or discounts. So that's everything that I usually store in my skincare fridge. Also, if you've got any question about the skincare fridge or my experience using this one and the products that I've shown you today, please don't be shy and comment down below. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's content. And if you do, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my uploads. And the like for this video will be much appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. Love you heaps. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.